tell you once with the link to these videos. So what I have is I got a short URL and I have a click here. And so I highlight that. And then I look to the hyperlink icon in the toolbar. When I click on that, it takes me to where I can hyperlink to something. And if I want to just jump to another page on my site, which I want to do um, almost never, I actually usually am trying to hyperlink to a website, so I have to actually pick website on the side. And then I can paste the link right there. Okay, zero. And then this is check this checkbox at the bottom. Open this link in a new window. Okay. So now it's a live hyperlink. So I try to make them all live hyperlinks. I don't want kids typing in websites. That is a surefire way to suck classroom time. I want them to just click here and be done. Just click here. We're all on the same page. Happy, happy. As opposed to, did you put a lowercase j? I bet you type www because you can't do that. No www, just do it without. I'm wasting my words that they're willing to listen to. So I'll try to do all this click here. Now what if I did it like this? If I just paste the URL and I highlight it, and then I click the hyperlink, well crap! It made it a live hyperlink. And why did I say crap? That's because it doesn't open in a new window. So I got to get this change. Click change so that I can check the checkbox. Okay, so th so there's two lines of thought here, right? Is I always I try to make them open in a window, but, but sometimes I on purpose like don't make it open in a new window, and I put in the directions. Hold down the control key, command on the Mac. Hold down the control key as you click on this link, so that I can train them. You guys ever read an article and it has links to other stuff, but you're not done reading the article? What I do is I just hold down the control key and I just click on the link, it opens in a new tab, and I keep reading. Oh, here there's another link. I hold down the control key, I click on the link, it opens it. Then I can go to those tabs later. That's a good skill for them. So I, I do try to embed computer skills into my class, even though I'm not teaching computers. So kids, I'm going to stay there. But with my other students, I am not. The more keyboard shortcuts they can learn, the more proficient they're going to be, the faster they'll be at their job, and the most, more likely that people think, we can't let this person go because they're really good at the computer. So when people get fired, they won't fire you. <laughs> I did that on purpose. Right, so you don't have to have the URL. You don't need the your URL at all. In fact, I could have just put in, click here, and I could have had just this big old link at the top and not done the short URL at all. Uh, this one. I type click here and I highlight it. And I click the chain, go to web address, paste it, open a new window, okay, say we're done. Alright, I was going to give you a break and then I guess I lied. So the last thing that I'll show you then is that you'll notice the new post bit button is missing, right? So to get back to there, I got to click back on the Alpha Daily or on the breadcrumb, this breadcrumb. So if I click back on the Algebra Daily, then I can do a new post. So now it's Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, I do a new post. Tuesday, 2014, 02, uh, 18, 1, welcome. Right, and I start building my agenda. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to click back on here. See, there's Tuesday, and underneath this, Tuesday, and then underneath it is Monday. Mm -hmm. um, I did that. Great. <laughs> and then it also added it to my uh, another page to my 